Well, hello! Welcome back to Farm Sim 22 here on the Lawson map. Look, look what we've got. So, we've gone through one night since the last episode. Uh, we've put in a lime station, we've had that uh, installed, and we've taken on uh, three liming contracts and a ploughing contract. So, we're going to let this uh, track to go off and do the ploughing. The McCormick, we're going to send that off with a worker. And then we're going to start running around these liming contracts. But we've got our lime at our own farm now. So we can quite easily get on with it. And there's another little task I've kind of set myself. But I'll tell you about that in a moment. But how are you doing? Do you hope you're well with... Well, all is well with you as you join us today. Right, so don't turn away from the microphone. They can't hear what you're saying. Uh, so where's he going? Where's he going to? Where's he to? Uh, he's going to 34. Down the bottom, I think, isn't it? There it is, right down there, right. So, let's see if he'll do what I'm asking him to. Set destination. Will he drop into there? You will, that's good. Lovely. In the meantime, we shall get in the big tractor. The reason we've got this one is simply because it's got jibby ears. It's got the gips. The advantage of putting the lime station is we can order as much lime as we need when we need it. <clears throat> and I've already put some in. Steady Teddy. Don't be so eager. About 10 miles an hour backwards is a bit too fast. Seven's a bit better. It's better. Just resetting my uh, reverse speed limiter there. So I don't know how much we've got in here. Let's have a look how much did we put in. 50,000 litres. That sounds a lot, but at the end of the day, we're going to need that kind of level. So, chug it up. And where's the nearest one? That we're going to do a uh, field. Well, let's go to one first, and then we can come back to three, can't we? One's up by the windmill. Once the plough gets to where he needs to go, we can set him ploughing. Once I've got this set up, I'll then tell you about the other cunning plan I have in mind. But I'm going to tell you a storyline as well. We'll put a story to it, just to make it like it's part of what's really happening. Our ploughing man's reached this thing, right? So what we'll do is we'll get this to our field first, then we'll go back to ploughing man, get him set up, swing that round that corner. There's the lovely wind. Oh, steady, Teddy. <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> Sorry for making you drunk. Yes, all these trees. It's not as bad as it was with all these trees. But do you know something? Oh, that's noisy, isn't it? Right, we're just going to leave that there for a second there. But this, bear with me. This would make a very good screenshot, wouldn't it? Let's see what that's like as a screenshot. There you go, do that, do that. There you go, screenshot done, F12. Yeah, flight mode very quickly, get a screenshot. Sorry about the loud noise in the background. Let's see what that comes out like. I'll probably do another screenshot somewhere else. Right, put that back in. Go to work. Oh no, not, not that one, that one. Right, have you got a straight edge? I think you have down that side, so we'll whip you, whip you around there. Stick in there. I'll just get them lined up nicely. See which direction he takes then, or she takes. Something like we'll see how it goes anyway. Right, so. Put on GPS, set auto width. 
Right, then set here. And we'll chug off down the field. Somewhere around about that direction. Set B. And turn you on, thank you, and go. And of course, using GPS, hopefully we'll use a bit less fertiliser than we would use if we were uh, just doing it by eye. Now, hopefully, uh, am I set to headland? headland? Oh yeah, we're on terrain angle, that's okay. Just didn't look like it was running straight with those uh, previous lines on the field, but clearly it is doing. Blip, blip. Blip, blip, thank you. And there's no ditch there, that's good. We're not going to run in up the bank. I'm going to leave that little bit at the end till we've finished. See if that uh, does it okay. And we can go in cab now, can't we? Very nice. Contact on field one is 10%. Despite having spent all that money on various things, we've still got 75,000 in the account, so that is a lovely chunk of change to have at this stage. We miss a little bit there, so we won't strike quite straight coming onto the field. It's a wonderful view, isn't it? That's a clever angle. I do have access to this gun. Hey, yeah. Only 20% done. How's the other fella doing? Let's have a look. How's you going on? Pluffing. 7%. That's doing alright. It's the joy of just leaving a hired worker to get on with the ploughing. On a straightish field. shouldn't need to do a headland because it's a good turning space at both ends. Bloop bloop. Through the bushes and off she goes. Beep boop. No tree there is there not? Nope. The other thing I mentioned a few episodes ago about watching a thing about a documentary about tractors on uh, UK TV and one of the things is said about GPS is when it, they were doing a cultivation but it the GPS skipped a row every time it did it and the reason it did that it was more accurate apparently so if you think about how we turn at the end of these fields it's a very tight turn if you've got a really big piece of kit you can't get it round in one turn so it literally does skip a line every time and then obviously when you come back the other way it then does the alternate rows but because it's works within tolerances of uh, three inches, two or three inches, then you're still going to get it all done. Amazing, just mind-blowing stuff. When I was a lad, you had a wind-up watch, you didn't have batteries in watches. And for those of you who watched Mr. Species, we're about the same generation, me and him. He's the same age as my sister. There you go, Mr. Species, I bet you didn't know that, did you? You were born the same year my sister was. So I'm like your younger brother. <laughs> that's, that's a thought to take you to a therapist at any time. <laughs> oh, we've not much fuel in this year tractor, have we? Need to put a bit more motion lotion in. How's we doing? Oh, he's only 12%, Tim. This is the biggest one we've got to do, so not three bad. We might have to go and refill them. Well, we're down to 41%. We're still 55 left, so yet. Yeah, could be touch and go, but there's that bit down there, you see. So we've left that as a bit of an overhang. So if we did that crossways, we might still just squeeze it in. Might cheat just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Now it's a dirty great big tree, you know. Should be able to get round that tree, I think.
that crow, the way the light was catching it, I thought it was a seagull, it looked white, one of those crows over there. It's going down, is this here? Fertiliser. 47% and 45 left. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, we're not going to make it, I don't think. Talking about Mr. Species, I've been watching his Watts farm from Farm Sim 17, and he used to, he had a tractor on there. I think it was that one I'm watching. I don't think it's the one he's currently doing. But that was the one we had this strange handprint that appeared on the roof of the tractor when it got dirty. Literally, all of a sudden, this handprint appear. Right there where the sunroof is, there'll be a dirty handprint right on the roof there. Funny how these things come back to you. Just taking the cruise control down a bit because we don't want it shooting off. So it's suddenly run out. <clears throat> so 30% left and we're only 59 done. Yeah, we're gonna have to refill. We're gonna be putting some more in here, I think. At least if this is the biggest, the others hopefully we should get all done with one tank each. So it shouldn't be too long a jewel. So yes, the other, the other idea I've got in my head. Let me just stop this here, and then I'll. We should have time to tell you about it. As we go down the other end again, because it won't matter if we run out. We'll just stop while we're talking. So let's put that into there. Take the map off now. We don't need the map on. Thank you. I'm going to call the map up again in a minute, but from a different angle. So on this here map, as you'll see, field 43 is the. Is the field that's donkeyish for some reason it's not doing what it should do this field here but it's part of Tom's farm so to kind of put it back into the story but to try and reset the field we're gonna plow that for Tom to try and reset it but in order to do that we will have to buy the field but then we'll sell it back to him so that's only to kind of that's because that's the only way we can do it in the game but uh, he hasn't got the equipment or the money to kind of pay to have it done. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it as a favour to him. We're going to plough that field and reset it. Hopefully that means that then when he gets contracts on it, he'll ask us to do the contracts. So that's the plan anyway, to try and reset that that particular field, but also in that sense just try and keep it within the storyline of contracting and what we're doing and all that jazz. Yep, we're definitely not going to finish this. We're definitely have to go and refill. I'm just looking at the map then, I don't know if you noticed, but... Oh yeah, that's the bit he missed because it was... I didn't set him straight to the angle of the, fit, of the, angle of the actual map. But that's okay, that'll take care of itself. So we're going to have to start part way down the road, but we can follow the same tram lines. And where are we anyway? That's the big question. So, liming, liming, liming. Oh, 79, not too bad. That's a big chunk of change, is that? It's going to take us back over 80,000. Well over. Oh, we're 81%, so yeah. Well in. We might even finish this run, which will be very good. Looks like we are going to do as well. Oh, there's a marina there, look, see? That'll do. So we won't worry about getting rid of this little tiny bit that's in. We'll go and uh, we'll go and get this refilled. So, folks, just to save you a little uh, trip down memory lane, we'll uh, flip back to the farm and get refilled, and see you down there. And I think I've already earmarked my next map. Now it might seem a bit mad when we're only part way into this series, but the reason for that is is that. If you do YouTube videos, you know you need you need to know that a map works and it's all as you should be. But uh, I think I've earmarked the one we want. Back further back. Bit further back. Bit further back. 
Yes, please. Q. Yeah, so I've already earmarked it. So we're... Uh, we know what we're doing next time. Like I said, I don't play a lot on it. It's just... I check where all the cell points are, I check that the cell points work, just do a general run around, make sure everything, it's like this one, I, you know, I don't know how long contracts are going to keep going, so whether or not the story can run itself out, who knows, hopefully by then we'll be developing other bits of the business, so. We might look at buying some land and uh, putting some houses down, becoming a landlord as well. See, sometimes there's not much point in being out of cab because you don't see much for all trees. Come in a bit closer, that's better. Round that corner and up to the field. 30% is already done that ploughing, that's fantastic. Fantastic. Turn in there, get unlocked, unloaded. Get around the field nicely, and away we go. Well done. So we just have to watch for this being completed now. Take the cruise control down a bit. That's better. <coughs> and how's he doing on the other one? We're 90 on this. 32, there you go. It's about time we've done a couple of these. It'll be a good way through that. So yeah, what we'll probably do is once he's finished ploughing that, we will then send that plough up to uh, Tom's farm. Buy that field 43, get it ploughed and see if it resets it. Hopefully it'll put it back into the game then. That's my plan. But like I said, the only way I can do that is to actually buy the field. So we're going to buoy the field. So it's a straight in and straight out. Do it as a favour to him, not charging for ploughing it in lieu of the fact that we might get other jobs out of it. And we don't need the GPS for this, do we? Otherwise we'll be halfway across the next field and spraying that instead. Waiting now for this to complete. It shouldn't be that far off, should it? You watch, it'll have completed when I come back. Oh no, 97, no, a bit yet. We don't won't need to do that strip down that side, hopefully. We might even have enough to do the next field, which is field three. There's the next one I spotted on the map. Come on, that's it, we're nearly there now. 99 pins. Thank you, that'll do nicely. Just pull it to there. Collect. Check which is field three. I'm sure it's just on the corner where I spotted it. Yep, just across the corner into the town. Put a bit more speed in. That's it. Up the cruise control. go this way across and then we're not fighting with the bus stop and all those trees There's trees on every side but right now where is uh, shorelines please thank you and is there a flip 90 degrees on this side no there's not so flip that 90 degrees no so we're gonna need to do a new uh, a new setup that's okay we need to do a new setup Set here, thank you. Probably quite off the edge there, I think. Uh, set B, do that. Whoops, come on. Do that, do that. And away we go. Turn the lines off next time. That field's got a crop in it, so we can't go driving through that one. So we might have to do a headland to finish this. Turn those lines off. Show lines off, thank you. Oh, can't 
can't see for the trees that's that's the annoying sometimes I meant to jump in cab before it hit the tree but we didn't get there oh steady going get it in a line nicely covered how are we doing let's have a look field three oh 13 percent one run we should be able to go right out onto the road here there's no pedestrians no buildings and this side of that which i think is a birch tree isn't it yeah with the side of that that's fine there is a ditch so we'll have to watch when we turn that's why I take cruise control down, <laughs> and I didn't do then. I take that down so that if it shoots off the end of there, we're not going to be drinking ditch water. But yeah, we're into November and the job's going fine. Don't need to check on the plough, and he's still going away. It tells me in the top left corner. A simple inspector mod. Steady as she goes. Pull that round to there. Spreadeth me lime. Spreadeth me lime. But I think what I'll do once I get it to the top, there's a good gap between those trees. Just to kind of change things up a bit, we'll put this back onto a higher worker. We'll go and have a look at the ploughing. And hopefully they won't end up in the ditch. All I'm going to do is use GPS just to make sure I've got them the right distance. That's it. Turn GPS off. Set them going. Yeah, they're going. That's all right. You can come up. This haven't got GPS, so we're going to have to be a lot more accurate with this. Let's have a look how they're doing. Oh, 60% in. That's really good going. Perhaps not going as fast as the uh, Deutsch would, but it's a really big plough, this. I think even the Deutsch struggles a bit. I'm just looking at what they've done kind of in terms of the field edges because obviously we don't want to... Yeah, there's just a strip down that side, but we might not need to do that actually because they are getting turned around. Might need a bit of a headland, but only at one end. Driving next door's crop. Keep well in with the neighbours. Really nice piece of kit, this McCormick. Now, luckily, you couldn't see that on screen, but I just tried to switch on GPS. Oh, bleep to you as well. That's telling me that it's whatever time of night it is. Eight o'clock on a Friday night. There you go. How are we doing with the old pluffing? 66 pence. How's he doing on the other job anyway? 59. Is he running out of stuff? I still got 40%. He's still running. He's turning around at the moment. Yeah, I don't think ploughing something I'd ever do in, in game on uh, farm sim. switch back in a moment we'll uh, now have a look at how all this is running it's running well i 
By the time you watch this, I might be in Spain. I think I might not be, I don't know when it'll go up, but like I say, I'm getting a couple of videos ahead so that I'll just keep my own routine going, really. Right, you do that. We'll take over from you. Oh, I see, you missed a bit at the top, that won't do. How are you doing? 70 tuppence and 31% left, yeah, that's fine. Should be able to get this done. Yeah, it's in trouble with high workers. See a tree, run for the hills. Don't go down the ditch. Woo -hoo -hoo, that was close. Only just there as well. Did we get that bit? Yes. Tover much. He threatens. Ooh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. See, the eye worker didn't even come anywhere near the end. They didn't start down here. Sorry, my keyboard thumping. I now put a piece of wood under it just to wedge it onto my screen, so hopefully it shouldn't flop about like it used to. 89 pence, there we go. Do the headlands and job will be done. I mean, a lot of difference, but it's these big chunks that really make the difference. Get it where we can get a full width. How are we now? 97. Uh, yeah, we'll go down that end because my guess is we're not going to run out of uh, lime. Once we get that bottom end done, 98. Yeah, we're going to be well in. Have plenty of stuff left. We're not getting a full width, full width spread here, but we will do when we turn. Come on, round you come. Done, and done. So we can collect that, please. And where are we now? 90,000. Well, ladies and gentlemen, persons, I've just glanced at the clock. I think we have kept you long enough. Uh, do all the YouTube stuff. We'll finish these bits off uh, when we come in next time. But thanks for dropping in. And we will. Catch you later.